Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. Do you know the difference between a memo and a presentation? It used to be very obvious. Back in the day, back when I was young, we had memos and we had transparencies. And a memo was often written on a word processor or even a typewriter. And the idea was it was sent to a distribution list, it was sent to a group of people, and it contained all the information, all the data that group of people needed to know about a specific topic. So it was sent to that group, and it was essentially self-service and completely self-contained. So I could read it in the privacy of my office, I could read it on the way to work, on the, on the subway, those kinds of things. Um, it had everything that I needed to know. It didn't need a presenter to interpret it for me. On the other hand, we had transparencies. And the idea of a transparency was speaker support, presenter support, and we might have a few bullets on that transparency and we would project on a transparency projector. And you never got confused between a memo, which was self-service, and a transparency, which required a presenter to be there to interpret the data. The objective of a memo was to give all the information in a self-service style, self-contained format, all the information, all the data that's relevant. The idea of a presentation was to accentuate those key elements that the audience absolutely needed to know and simplify or even eliminate the, the extraneous data. So it was very clear. What's happened today is that we use the same application for both of those objectives, for the, both of those functions. And you often see it, it's a, it's a PowerPoint slide deck. And I get every quarter I get from our operations department, I get a report on the functioning of my organization. And it comes in the form of a PowerPoint slide deck, about 120 PowerPoint slides. And I think they use PowerPoint because it's a convenient way to uh, put in bar charts and pie charts and data and those kinds of things. Now, I, I have all the information I need. It's self-contained. It's information rich and it's self-service. I can read it on the subway on the way to work. I can read it in my office wherever, those kinds of things. On the other hand, I use the same application, PowerPoint, as speaker support. So I might get confused and say, well, this, this uh, PowerPoint slide deck that really was about a memo and self-contained and information rich, I might try to use that as a persuasive communication. That's a mistake. That's, that's not persuasive. Uh, you need to shrink down. Remember, the purpose of a persuasive communication is to highlight those things that the audience absolutely has to know, to highlight the key points, to simplify everything else. And as we say, to amplify, you need to simplify. You need to remove things. As William James says, the essence of wisdom is knowing what to leave out. So in the memo format, we want to put everything in because it is self-contained and self-service. In the presentation format, we want to push things out and highlight only those things that are most important. The issue is, the problem is sometimes we get confused because it's no longer a typewritten or word process document versus a overhead transparency. It's PowerPoint for both sides. So just be careful as you're doing your presentations. Remember, the essence of wisdom is knowing what to leave out. To amplify, you need to simplify. You need to push data out rather than pull data in. It's an entirely separate purpose than the classic memo. So just keep memo on the one hand, persuasive presentation on the other hand, and your presentations will get better and they will get more persuasive. So that's the, the persuasive communication tip of the week. I'll see you again next week.